Hi, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today, I will show you how to create a Jenkins job using Ansible to deploy one Spring Boot application in Tomcat server. If you are following this series, you know that previously in our tutorials, we have completed how to install Ansible in a virtual machine how to install and set up Jenkins as well as Tomcat. In our previous tutorial, you have seen that how we configured Jenkins to build and deploy to Tomcat. We took our code from GitHub repository that is github.com slash AWS tech guide and we did Maven build through Jenkins and ultimately we deployed that Spring Boot web application into Tomcat. Now in this tutorial, we will be using the same infrastructure, but we will add Ansible for deployment automation. So in this case, we will be taking the code from the GitHub repository. We'll be using Jenkins as an orchestrator and through Ansible, we will be deploying that web application into Tomcat. So let's start. As you see, I am logged in into my Google Cloud platform and I have Ansible, Jenkins and Tomcat all are installed up and running in separate virtual missions. So let me open the command prompt for Ansible. So here is our Ansible installation. We have the host ansible.cfg for Ansible configuration, roles, and I have created one playbook which is called deploy.yml because we will be using this playbook to deploy that web application into Tomcat. First, let me show you what is inside our host or the inventory file. In Ansible inventory file, as you see, we have one host group mentioned, that is web server. Now, since I have one virtual machine for Tomcat server, that's why I have mentioned IP, then Ansible underscore user, which is the user of the client system, which is our Tomcat system, and Ansible underscore password. It is the password for this user of the Tomcat system. Now here I have used root, but for best practice, you should never use root and its password to connect from your Ansible or any other system. You should be creating separate user into that client system and will be sharing or connecting from Ansible. So I'm closing this inventory file. Now let's see our Tomcat servo. It is our Tomcat server and as you know that this is our external IP or the public IP and this is the public IP I have configured in inventory file as web servers. So let's check from Ansible server whether I am able to connect to this Tomcat server or not. So here in my Ansible server, let's try whether I am able to ping to the Tomcat server or not. So for that, Ansible group or host name, that is web servers using ping module. And you see that it has successfully pinged to the Tomcat server. So it is the same IP which is showing. Now our next task is to create one Jenkins job which will do this deployment automatically. So let's go to our Jenkins. Our Jenkins is also up and running. To create one new job, we have to click this new item but before that, we have to install one plugin. So go to manage Jenkins, click on manage plugin. 
go to available since you will be using SSH to copy the word file from Ansible to Tomcat server that's why we have to install one plugin which is called publish over SSH e search it here publish over SSH so if you scroll it down and you find it publish over SSH just click it click on install without restart it's installing it has successfully installed let's go back to Jenkins now to configure that plugin we have to go to manage Jenkins click on configure system find publish over SSH plugin here we are click on add SSH servers give a name of the server because we will be connecting to Ansible so I am just adding it as Ansible and host name it is asking so the host name will be Ansible public IP so let's go to GCP and copy the Ansible external IP it is our Ansible host name it is the username we will be connecting to enter username we used root as username click on advance click on use password authentication add the password we will be connecting over port 22 keep the timeout as it is and just click on test configuration as it's showing it has failed to connect so let's check our connection details because we are trying to connect this host name which is our Ansible server with the username root and the password we mentioned we are back to our Ansible server and let's go to SSH in SSH SSHD config so open this SSHD config well we have to edit it over here so as you see this permit root login yes and next one is password password authentication yes now save it now restart this system ctl restart sshd it has restarted now give a try from Jenkins server and it's showing success so it was our issue so our issue was basically that in Ansible system let's let me go to the Ansible system because it is very important to know that how we fixed this issue we were not able to connect from Jenkins server to Ansible system and both are in Google Cloud Platform Se completely separate virtual machines so what we did that we went to SSH directory opened this SSHD config and by default the root login was restricted as you see permit root login I have made it as yes and the next thing it was password authentication it was no I made it yes so this it was the change and after changing that I just restarted SSHD by system CTL restart SSHD and it started working now let's go back to our Jenkins it has started working now so far we have installed the plugin 
published over SSH and configured it in Jenkins. And we have tested the connection from Jenkins to Ansible server that it is able to connect properly. Now our next task is to create one Jenkins job which will deploy our Spring Boot web application to Tomcat server. So again going to our Google Cloud platform where you see this Ansible, Jenkins, Tomcat, three virtual machines are up and running. So let's go to Jenkins, click on new item. I'm adding the name as deploy to deploy using Ansible. You can select as freestyle project. I am selecting as Maven project. It doesn't matter. So adding one description over here, this build job is to deploy in Tomcat using Ansible. In source code management, select git here is our github repository which is github.com slash aws tech guide from this github we are taking the project which is a spring boot web application project from spring hyphen web app repository so just copy this url you can take this project from here or fork it to your repository since it is public repository we do not need to add any credential over here. Scroll down and add build goal package. Scroll down and in post build action, click on add post build action drop down and select send build artifacts over SSH. So if you don't see this option, you, it means that you have not installed that plugin we have just installed few minutes back which is publish over ssh so i'm selecting this and it has already taken this name ansible because you know that when we configured publish over ssh plugin we gave this ansible name now our source file and remote directory is that from where it will take the deployable means the dot .war file and to where in the remote directory it will push. So from target directory it will take the war file and in remote it will push it to opt slash temp. Now this opt slash temp is actually the remote directory in Ansible in Ansible server. So let me take you to the Ansible server. Inside OPT directory in Ansible server, I have manually created this temp directory just to temporarily keep this deployable. So let's browse inside this temp. Inside this temp, you will get target. And inside target, it will copy the OR file over here. Well, so now our next thing is that execute command, but we will not write the command over here. We will be creating another server uh, by clicking that button add server. And here we will only add the execute command, execute command for executing the playbook we created to, to execute a playbook. The command is ansible playbook and the playbook name. But let me show you where we have kept this playbook. If you see in under opt directory, there is a playbooks directory as well. So let's go inside this playbooks directory. And here we have kept deploy.yml. Let's open this deploy.yml by cat. So it's showing deploy web app in Tomcat hosts 
web servers this web servers are defined in ansible inventory file that is host file become yes which is making it sudo we have one task that is copy var into tomcat and this task will copy the var from this location to the destination user local tomcat web apps now the destination location is actually in the tomcat server so when we will be executing this deploy.yml it will do this particular task so let's go back to our jenkins this is the, our path for playbook now let's save click on build now build has started click on the build click on console output it's executing the playbook and showing success ok2 changed one so means it has completed the task copy to word to copy word into tomcat changed perfect so let's copy our tomcat external ip which is 104 open a new tab 8080 because we are running our tomcat on 8080 and context path is f text and slash home is the gate mapping we have currently so enter and our application has been successfully deployed so it is our home screen so you can click here for our online tutorials over here yes it is taking you to the join our devops hands-on series now let's go back again and just doing a refresh so our application was successfully deployed by ansible so let's go back to the architecture we were planning it is the architecture we achieved we had our project code in github we pulled the source code from there we did build through jenkins and using ansible we deployed the code in tomcat container thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any query please write in the comment box below see you in our next session thank you